Hey, it's Erin. Today I wanted to share my top 10 favorite body weight exercises with you. Since most of us still don't have access to a gym, it's important that we choose our exercises carefully. One of my favorite ways to increase difficulty is to do single arm or single leg exercises. We're also going to look at different angles for these exercises, different time under tension. So basically what this means is keeping tension on the muscle or making the muscle work for extended periods of time. This can lead to gains even though you don't have access to weights. What you will need is a bench or a chair and a resistance band. That's it. So you can do these exercises pretty much anywhere. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first exercise is a skater squat. I especially love this exercise because you have the ability to self spot. So use that rear leg to your advantage and you'll find that you have typically little sticking points. So that's something that you can work on. I try to keep the foot above the knee and that kind of keeps me from tapping my foot a little too early. One of the things to really consider with this exercise and all of the other single leg exercises is that you really want that knee to follow in the direction of the toe. So try not to let the knee cave in. If the knee starts to cave, I would suggest just switching to a split squat, something that you can work towards later on. So here I'm performing all of the exercises on one leg and then switching to the other side. And this increases the difficulty in addition to it being a single leg exercise, which makes it incredibly difficult. Now with all of these single leg exercises, you really want to start with your non-dominant leg first and let that dictate the number of reps that you're going to do on the dominant side. This can help even out any asymmetries and help create that balance between left and right leg. So the foot weight distribution should be about evenly distributed. This is going to help with your overall balance core nice and tight. Try to keep the upper body tilted forward just a little bit so you can easily balance. The next exercise is a Spanish squat. You'll need a medium resistance band. So this one it has about an 80 pound weight rating here and just attach it to something sturdy. <laughs> And then you'll step out to where you have a really good tension, something you can work against. This exercise is particularly great for working the VMO. It's awesome for knee health. It's going to help, help with thinking about pushing those knees out. In addition, it's going to work the glutes. Now a couple things here. I like to think about keeping my weight through my heels, keeping the upper body nice and tall, and of course keeping constant tension. So you're working against this resistance band. It looks like it's a very easy exercise, but you definitely start to feel it after a few reps. Now anytime you want to make an exercise more difficult, you just slow it down. The next exercise is going to hit the abs. This is an isometric V hold. One of the reasons why I love this exercise so much is that it's going to work on your TVA, which is that internal girdle. It's the musculature that's under the six pack. And I love working this over working the six pack because this actually will tighten the waist and will make the waist smaller over time. So you want to think about balancing on those sit bones keeping your body nice and stiff. The next exercise also works the abs. This is an X plank. So if you have just planked and planked till you can't plank anymore, increase the difficulty by increasing the base size here. So put your arms out and up just a bit, put your legs out. And this not only works that TVA, but you'll feel it in your shoulders in your chest, in your quads. So it's just an overall great strength builder. Next exercise is a bench assisted single leg squat. Now very important here, make sure you keep that knee in line or even pushed out just a little bit. 
Weight again is going to be evenly distributed across the foot. And try to go as slow as possible and then try to push yourself back up with the working leg. So try not to use momentum at all here if possible. And of course, as you get tired, it's kind of, it's going to happen. But with the body weight exercises, you are essentially using your body as the resistance. So it requires quite a bit of discipline, especially during those last few reps, because that's when you're gonna make the best changes and the best improvement in your physique. So all reps are done on one side, switching to the other side. I like to try to keep everything as square as possible. So with the single leg exercises, you'll notice that there's a tendency to lean just a little bit and that's okay, but you wanna try to keep everything as square as you can. And if you don't have a bench at home, you can definitely use a chair for this one and the other exercises. Just make sure it's a sturdy chair. And you don't wanna use the non-working leg to boost yourself up. So that one is immobilized completely. It is not active at all in this process. The next exercise is a quad step up. So here, you're essentially pulling your body up with that lead leg. So you're gonna try not to push off with the trail leg if you can. This one I always find particularly challenging. And if it helps, try to think about keeping that trail leg or the trail foot flat, and this will deter you from pushing off. And try to keep the upper body tall. You can lean forward just a little bit. But again, think about pulling yourself up with your leg. And also think about going as slow as possible on the way down. Sometimes you lose your balance. That's okay. Just really focus and focus on executing this movement evenly on both sides. So obviously you've got a dominant side and a non-dominant side. The best we can do is push to make sure everything is working evenly at all times. That is going to encourage that symmetry. And the slower you can go and the more you can use just that lead leg, the more you're gonna work the quad. Next exercise is a single leg hip thrust. So you want your upper body uh, your upper back on the bench or on the chair. I like to think about tucking the chin and almost moving the upper body in unison with the hips. So the hips should be the only hinge. Think about a bar running all the way down your spine. And so everything is nice and tight. Weight is through the heel here. Your working legs should be doing all of the exertion. So the other leg is not taking an active role. There's a tendency a lot of times to kick up with that non-working leg. And of course, that is going to hit your quads. It's gonna hit a lot of other muscles, but it's not going to hit the glutes. So the goal here is nice, concentrated, focused effort. You keep that chin tucked or you can look directly across the ground. So you wanna at least keep a level gaze or keep your chin tucked. And really squeeze at the top and get that full contraction and try to keep tension on the muscle the entire way through. Next exercise is a pike push-up. And this one is especially difficult. It's gonna work your shoulders you're going to get up on a bench or a chair. You want to keep your legs in a straight line. You wanna keep your torso nice and flat and think about emulating the shoulder press. So elbows in line with the wrists and you're gonna hit a little bit of chest here too. 
And this is a great variation if you don't have access to dumbbells, even if you do. The next exercise is a decline push-up. So this one's gonna hit upper chest. I especially love decline push-ups. As we get leaner, there's a tendency for us, especially females, to lose mass in the upper chest. So what you wanna do is you wanna train that upper chest and that's regardless of if you have implants or not, but creating that fuller appearance in the upper chest looks absolutely beautiful. As you start to lean down, if you spend any time building your shoulders and you don't work your chest, then you're going to have an incomplete physique. So it's not only good for health purposes to train every muscle in the body, but it's also good aesthetically. The last exercise is a bench dip. So what you wanna do here is you wanna keep your upper body close to that bench. Elbows should be close to the upper body, pointing back. You don't want your elbows to flare out. Also think about keeping your shoulders rotated back and down. You don't want your shoulders to end up around your ears. If you wanna make the exercise easier, you can bring your legs in and balance on your feet. If you wanna make the exercise more difficult, bring your feet in and you can place a weight on your, on your uh, lap. Those were my top 10 favorite bodyweight exercises. What are yours? I'd love to hear about them. Share them in the comments below, and this will also help others learn about new exercises. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, and don't forget to click that little bell. You'll be the first to know whenever a new video comes out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard and train smart, y'all.